Hey guys, <clears throat> I wanted to make a quick video, um, more about advice than anything else. But uh, well, you, you'll know by watching my prophecy videos and um, by looking at my illustration book that when the beginning events happen, the seven seals, you'll see that seal number three <clears throat> is a money problem, it's a market collapse. Um, and of course what happens is seal number one the Antichrist is crowned and released and everything's all golden and nice seal number two war outbreak a war outbreak will be from Israel between like Satan's plan was between Israel and Arab uh, neighbors Arab enemies um, to kick off and then for all the other nations which are divided in the situation to come in and take sides of course we can see very clearly that any war be between Iran and Israel or you know any big war between Syria but I believe it's going to be Iran and Syria uh, and Israel any war that happens there, Russia is going to come in on the side of Iran. If Russia's in, then China's in, North Korea's in, and now we have World War Three. The only people that could come in really are the people of the Antichrist. The NATO, the EU, and America could come in to help um, Israel in that war. And maybe that is the covenant for seven years, maybe a, and a, a treaty alliance you know, between the West and Israel. perhaps but that is seal number two war outbreak from Israel now it's easy to understand because Israel is a one place just a little little place there uh, so the war is going to start there but it'll bring all the nations of the whole world into a, a war Now, seal three is the market collapse. Now, if you do your own research of um, history, um, you will see that market collapses can happen very quickly, like 9-11, the markets collapsed that same day. So seal three comes after seal two, but it could come very soon after seal uh, two. And people know that all these nations are coming together in a war, or they see the war, um, as I, I told you about a prophecy of the destruction of the Dome of the Rock, which is the Muslim mosque off the Temple Mount in Jerusalem, that there would be, like you see flashing through this boy's eyes, you see war coverage, meaning coverage on the TV of war, and then market plunge, which are both, both the seals. You have seal two, the market uh, seal two, the war outbreak from Israel, and then you have seal three, the market collapse. But this market collapse, if you carry on reading in the Bible and you look at the world, this is the plan now for the world government. In fact, they had this plan even before 9 11 happened. Um, the plan was for, well, to reduce the population down, you know, from 7 billion to 0 0.5 billion. Uh, have everything under this one world government and for the money system to change for it to be a total moneyless cashless uh, I suppose digital um, society I mean we have it now with credit you know the banking system you put your money in the bank it just becomes numbers on a computer like when they give you credit they don't pull out three thousand pound of p cash they just punch the numbers in on a screen and create it that way you know, so we are living in pretty much a nearly digital cashless society as it is. And, you know, with our credit cards and they have the RFID already in the cards. I mean, it's pretty much done, the whole money system. But the end plan is that it's going to be a totally digital com controlled uh, money system with you'll just have basically a card. But the Bible says that they'll have that mark implanted into you. Uh, well, it didn't say implant, but it says that people will be marked in their right hand or in their forehead 
and they can't buy or sell without that mark. But now you look at it, the RFID chip that they put into animals. They're now putting it into humans, but they're, but they're sugarcoating it. They're saying, oh look, we can put this chip in our hand and beep beep, oh we can walk through the door now. Isn't this so great? Or, you know, RFID chip for like Obamacare, which is controlled by one of the UK government's circo. And beep beep, oh well you're on Obamacare, but you have to have a chip. The Bible talks about that chip, that implant going into your right hand, right hand it says. Or in your forehead, I presume that's for people that maybe don't have any hands. Because uh, in some cultures, they f you feed, they chop you, you know, your hands off and stuff. So this system is already planned, this cashless society. So this will be the, the kingdom of the Antichrist, this cashless society. And everyone has to be implanted with a chip. And they'll be like robots, beep, beep, like cattle going through. And they can't buy or sell. That means that there'll be no cash. Um, but what I'm trying to warn people of is about getting their cash out of the banks before Seal 3 happens. Because this collapse uh, is so great that it's going to render cash worthless, even though it is worthless, you know, anyway. You know, we have paper notes, which are an IOU for five pounds worth of gold let's say but there is no gold to back up the cash anymore they're just printing out this worthless paper with no actual value to it and that was gone even worse now they're giving you credit and punching numbers in on a computer and there is no even worthless paper worthless money to back it up with so it's gone absolutely ridiculous that money itself is worthless in its uh, you know tangible state of you know worth anything but obviously, you know, people still follow a, m a money system and you obviously have to pay for things, but the money itself is worthless. But what I'm w trying to warn people of is that before Seal 3 happens, get your money out because this crash would be so bad. Like I said, this is the black horse, uh, the rider, the black horse, and he has a pair of balances and had a, a voice coming out of the four horns of the altar saying, um, uh, a quarter of wheat for a penny and two quarters of barley for a penny but hurt not the oil and the wine meaning the, the poor people just lose their wealth but the rich people, the oil and the wine the rich people hang on to their wealth so it's going to be Joe Bloggs that suffers and all the rich powerful people are going to hang on to their wealth through this. but it's going to be a massive market collapse like I said it's going to make worthless money absolutely really worthless and they're going to need a new system and the new system will be a totally digital money, moneyless, or cashless society, and everyone will be have to have RFID chips implanted. And the Antichrist has already got his RFID chip implanted. But that is for the final three and a half years. What I'm talking about is the market collapse of the beginning of events. And like I said, this is Seal 3. <clears throat> and this will happen after Seal 2. But it will be very quickly. So if you want to make provisions, you actually want to be getting your cash out before even seal two happens. Because you don't know when that strike's going to happen, maybe against Israel, maybe, you know, ISIS, you know, the CIA created and named ISIS, you know, hitting Israel. Maybe that's how the war began. Who knows until it happens? But we don't know when that's going to happen. So we even need to take our money out before Seal 2 happens, war outbreak. The only thing I could suggest, really, is that when you see Seal 1 happen, and no matter how hunky-dory and nicey-nicey it might sound, oh, a new king, a new, the prince is crowned as the new king. This is like a new beginning, a new era, a new bullshit. You know, when you see that seal one happen and the prince is crowned, like I've told you for years, but still people aren't ready. Even at seal one, mate, I'd take your money out. My money's already out, by the way. I, I've, you know, I've got cash on me, so my cash is not being 
Because when the banks, when the crash happens, you see, the banks could foreclose, the cash machines could turn up. It's happened before. Cash machines have fa um, failed to have enough cash in them and been shut down. Banks have been shut down. You know, like, um, what was it, Northern Rock was one example I can remember. But this will happen because the banks are businesses and they use your money. When they lose because they're invested in the stock market, when they lose, they've just basically bankrupted themselves. If they bankrupted themselves, they can't pay their debtors, which are you, because you've credited them, but they owe you your money back. They'll use your money, well, it's in their bank, uh, to try and make money, and they'll give you a little bit, maybe. Well, the interest rate's not even, well, the only interest rates have only just gone up. And that's an interesting thing. The interest rates have just gone up in the UK, and the last time that happened was 2009, 2008. Well, <laughs> that was the time of the last market crash. So, you know what I mean? So, even the financial events that are happening now are signaling a market collapse. We are in the seven year Shemitah. We had the seven year Shemitah going on um, from 2009 onwards, so we got to um, 2006. Uh, and then we had the the Jubilee of last year, which is also a, a, a Sabbath, like the Shemitah is. And now we're just finishing out that year now. So if there was a time where the market collapsed, it would be now. But look at the seals. When seal one and the prince is crowned king, I would immediately you know, not get caught up in the moment, but go and take your money out of the bank. And then when you took your money out of the bank, you can at least go and buy something that will, you know, be of some use. Of course, we'll be exodusing. After the throne passes over and he destroys the nations for their iniquities, then, you know, there isn't going to be any town, there isn't going to be any cash machines or bank to go to because many of them will be underwater. So, you know, but at least before that happens, you can prepare yourself. You can get some bits and pieces like your Exodus bag, you know, some solar, some solar energy, some sort of renewable energy, you know, some sleeping things, some tab a tabernacle, some spare clothes, so a nice pair of trotters, a nice pair of shoes, I mean. <laughs> Um, you can just go out and buy something of value you, if you wanted to stock up on food But I, I personally I wouldn't do that because you've got to carry it And it's going to run out at, at some time Me, I, I trust in God If God rained bread out of heaven for Moses, he'll do it for me too So, yeah, at least get your money out before the markets crash Preferably seal one Don't wait around for seal two war outbreak to happen Because seal two mark uh, war outbreak market collapse could come instantaneously at the same day or at least the day after so you don't want to wait until the market crashes and the banks go bankrupt before you run down to the bank and try and get it out listen to what I'm saying and go beforehand <clears throat> or even if you go now if you believe in all this stuff don't wait for will, uh, the antichrist to be crowned you know, go now and do it. Um, like me, you know, I've got cash. I don't leave anything in the bank. It's not doing anything in the bank anyway. It's not making any interest. So, yeah, and then you, at least you're prepared. At least you can buy yourself some things to sustain your life a little bit easier. You don't want to be one that's caught with a pants down. You don't want to be one of the virgins without oil in their lamps. You want to have been prepared. You want to have tested the spirits. You want to have looked at the world and see the situation we're in. You want to have a look at the Bible, see the scriptures, learn from the prophets. I'm mean, take action, man. It's just up to you. It's totally up to you. I'm ready now. This time being away from home also is uh, it's absolutely poof, catapult my preparation. I've been forced to prepare. I've been for, forced to... Um, uh, <clears throat> get my exodus bag ready and everything prepared and, and now even people are starting to look at me look at this now like my parents and they say what are you preparing for but you know if i say well in the bible it says oh i don't want to hear about the bible well okay but i was going to tell you what i'm preparing for you know so 
so it's noticeable but I haven't been forced to prepare by the crown I've been persecuted by the crown I've been forced to prepare by God who's put me in a bad situation to get massive great results for preparation of his purpose not mine oh uh, yeah I'd love to be at home I suppose but if I was at home I'd be distracted I'd maybe be doing other things I won't be absolutely focused on God's will for the future because that is coming and I get a feeling because of my situation that is coming very soon anyway I've been St. Justin Roberts from End of the Age Bible Prophecy God bless you all and God bless all the saints around the world especially the 144,000 maybe all we Maybe all stand up and raise our voices and prepare the way of the Lord. God bless you all. Jesus Christ, Yeshua HaMashiach, El Masih Isa, his name. Amen.